Bought a new toolbox. Today we're going to talk truck toolboxes. One thing that you need to consider if you're purchasing a fifth wheel is the profile of your toolbox. And what I mean by this is how far the toolbox sticks over your bed rails. In our case, this one was about eight inches and it concerned me that it was too high and if I made a tight turn, that it would contact the camper and damage something. So we decided to remove it and get something else. If you'll follow me this way, I will show you what we got. Bought a new toolbox. Now we decided to go with this one for several reasons. Number one being a box that doesn't sit over the rails unless somebody's really looking. They don't know the toolbox is there. Also not being over the rails means that there is no chance of it hitting our camper. Number three, I like that you can more securely mount these to the bed. You get more height for storage. It's just an all around great deal. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna move this around the fifth wheel that's in front of it, set it in the front, and then I'm gonna take and mount it using some 3 8 bolts to the bed of the truck so it won't go anywhere. I had to go get some stainless bolts yesterday, so Ran out of time before I had to go to work. Today we centered the toolbox and I measured the outside of the box to the ridges because on these boxes you want to make sure wherever you put your bolts they go in the ridge that comes up. That way it's a nice flat surface for that bolt to go in. Um, according to the directions they want 3 16 to quarter inch bolts. Well. I don't think that's nearly enough. So we went up to 3 8 bolts, uh, fender washers, make sure you get a nice even spread of the load of the box. Now after I measured, I made lines on the inside the best I could. We are battling rain today. The lines did not show up all that well. I'm going to drill a pilot hole with a quarter inch bit. Then I'm going to go ahead and drill 3 8 What's under there? Might be in a spot where the bed comes together. Oh. What happened? We're hitting the front cross member of the bed. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, that's fine. We'll move back a little bit. Fill that hole with some corking. Before you start drilling your holes, you do want to make sure that there's nothing underneath of it. For example, on this left side, I know that there's the fuel fill right there. So we're going to try our darndest not to drill through it. You know, normally you could put as much weight as you want on a drill bit to get it to drill a little faster, but in this particular instance, we are not going to do that. What I like to do is put the bolts in after you drill the hole. That way it kind of holds the toolbox in place while you drill the rest of your holes. Also, you are definitely Huh? You were definitely good there. Uh, it was the other one that you had to be worried about. Oh, because that was right above the fuel lines. Perfect. That one, you didn't hit them, I just checked. Um, that one, you were completely free and clear. Put the bolts in. Now folks, what I did is I got stainless bolts. And why I got stainless bolts is rust. No, this is not a marine environment. It can still rust, and if you ever have to pull this toolbox out for some reason, you want to be able to get the bolts and nuts loose. A lot of times with regular bolts, that isn't going to happen. One thing you need to do is you want to seal this up against the weather. So I had some caulk laying around. 
any type of silicone works. This happens to be white, but I'm cheap and I'm not going to buy a tube of caulk, just clear caulk just to seal this up. So we're going to use white. Apply a little bit to the bolt towards the top and a little bit in the hole. April's going to do one of her favorite things of play with power tools and run the impact gun to tighten the bolts while I get underneath and hold the wrench. The cab first. It'll be a second here. Getting the nut on there. Okay. All right, baby, whenever you're ready, hit it. Hard, hit it. Go. All right. So. Here we go.